Hello YouTube, B3 here, back with another kicking action figure review. Today's review is over the fantastic SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1964 from Bandai, Tamahashi Nations, and released by Bluefin. So yeah, pretty cool figure. Do, do love it. Uh, it has some flaws, it has some gripes, some things I can gripe about, but uh, yeah, overall, pretty cool figure. Ordered it from a comic shop back when I went to a UGA, and <laughs> well, I pre-ordered it actually, and uh, then I transferred schools, forgot all about it. It showed up. I had no way to get there, not with where I go to school now and work, no time to travel or anything. There's no way I could get all the way to UGA to get it. So I have a buddy who still goes to school there. He got it, and he got it to me. So. Thanks, man. Thanks a ton if you're watching this. I know you're not, but uh, if you are, ta-da. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, pretty cool figure. How about we take a look at the packaging? I know how you guys love that import packaging swag. So uh, here's the first box. He is an exclusive, so he had a brown box like this. And uh, SH Monster Arts, Bandai Collector Shop, Godzilla 1964, you know, barcode, and box thing, whatever that means. I don't know Japanese. But yeah, no, and it's just brown on the rest of it. And then here's the box you actually want to see with uh, the Godzilla suit on front of the Mozagoji, and it's really, really cool. <laughs> that uh, SH Monster Arts, Godzilla, Bandai, Tamashi Nations. No window. Yeah, I think that's the thing they're doing for exclusives now. People thought that was going to be like just an all thing, but it turns out it's just exclusives because Kiru didn't have that. Okay, Godzilla. The 2013. That Godzilla up top. You got Godzilla's picture on the side. Words there. Godzilla on the side. Several poses on the back. Yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, worth $65 so far just for the box. The box itself is worth $65. Bucks. Uh, yeah. Just kidding. I would not pay $65 for the box. It's what's inside that counts. Now let's take a look at what was inside. Yeah. But Godzilla himself. Very, very beautiful. Fantastic. Fantastic sculpt. Looking great. Just absolutely great. I mean, it looks it looks just like the suit, even a little more ferocious, maybe. Just very menacing. I loved Godzilla vs. the Thing, Mothra vs. Godzilla, whatever you want to call it. It was a really good movie. Showed really just wow. Godzilla was monstrous in that film. Yeah, really nice. Always love the face. Now, obviously, we're doing detail and paint first, so the face looks great. The eyes are kind of cloudy and. Cl Clear, but cloudy. Clear, clear, cloudy material, I suppose. Looking very, very nice, as you can see. All the details sculpted in the face. Even looks a little dirty. And inside the mouth, look at that. Fully painted mouth, fully painted teeth. Fantastic. You see all the scales all the way down. The spines look amazing. One of the things I usually judge the most on a Godzilla figure. See them spines, but they look perfect. All the way down to the tip of his tail. Right there. That is three toes. Classic three toes. Right there, three toes. Looks like he's been on his knees. Well, I guess he was buried in the dirt. But yeah, you see he's got like, looks like his dirty knees right there. Looks pretty good. His middle, like, sternum. His sternum thing. Got claws. Still has got claws. I mean, he looks really good all around. Pretty awesome figure, look-wise. Now articulation, which is spectacular. Much improved over the first Godzilla we've gotten. I actually don't have that Godzilla. That's why I got this Godzilla. I just have the Comic-Con version of that Godzilla. I didn't feel the need to have both, and I ran across the Comic-Con one first. Oh, I got the Comic-Con on the week it came out. So, yeah. Anyways. Uh, articulation, head up and down, moves all around. Ball, you know. As you saw, jaw articulates. And then you got this joint in the neck, this joint in the neck, just a ton of movement you can get out of the neck and head there. And then you got this torso joint, which you can turn just fine up and down. And then you have the arms, which you're gonna... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, it, that, that, this one, just this one for me pops off easy, but yeah, as you can see, it's got a good bit of movement right there. And god dang it, the arms extend. I don't know why it's popping off right now, normally... Like, it's done that before, but it normally doesn't do that. See, this one's not doing it. This one's articulating just fine and not doing it. 
You see it the uh, arm stretches out just fine. And you have really good at they're really good at hiding the articulation. They try their best to do that. And you got joints on the hands here. And they have this triangle joint that lots of people complain about, but I think they complain more about the way it looks, how it's kind of obvious. But uh, to be perfectly honest, we get a lot more movement with it, as you can already see. We get a lot more movement than the legs on the old Godzilla. So yeah, that's pretty tight. And then we got a really good knee bin, double knee bin right there. Lots of rotation and stuff in the leg. And up and down on the foot, side to side and stuff. You got kind of this mid foot articulation too. And of course the tail, which we all knew was going to be very well articulated, segmented for the most part all the way down. As you can see, it kind of stops right about here, solidifies, becomes more, mostly one. It's like two right there and then there, but it's kind of split sort of right there, see? Yeah, it's really tight at the tip, but yeah, so you can get the tail in a variety of poses. So your articulation on this guy is great. The only thing that's not good on him has got to be accessories. He came with nothing. Not one thing. I don't know about you guys, but that kind of upsets me. No accessories. Lazy. That's lazy. All you had to do was give us the beam effect and the stand to hold it up. People would have been perfectly content with that, I think. I really do believe that. Comic-Con Godzilla didn't get that. This guy didn't get that. Uh, for a while, we weren't getting a lot of accessories of Monster Arts. But then Kiru came along, brought a lot more accessories. So that was pretty cool. We didn't get an absolute cannon beam effect, or a chest maser beam effect, or even a mouth maser. But we got his jetpack and all that stuff, and interchangeable eyes. But, I mean, this guy? Nothing. Not a thing. And I guess you can use the beam effects from the old Godzillas. I've seen people do that. But it, it, it still doesn't fit in the mouth quite right, obviously. Different head sculpts. But, I mean, I guess I could use my other Godzilla's beam effects. I don't know. You could get one from Can of Beams. I have seen their beam effects. Can, you cam a, can of Beams. It's a pretty cool sight. You can order a blast effect for, of him for there. For him from there. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I just got back from work. It's past midnight. I'm night shift. Hooray. But yeah, so no accessories. That's the big complaint of this guy. Now, another complaint. Let's get into size comparisons. Here's our Godzilla with some of his fellow monster artists. You have the Comic-Con Godzilla I was speaking of earlier. Same sculpt as the other, you know, 80s, 90s Godzilla. The first monster art. But, yeah, you see, he doesn't scale up so well with that. I mean, he's too short. Well, actually, he's too tall. Technically, if you want to really get into it. Because, you see, the Showa, this Showa Godzilla is like half the size of this Heisei Godzilla. In all truth. So he should either, in my opinion, he should either be here, or he should be here. But I don't want my figures to be this tall. Well, my trend masters are about that tall, but I mean my super articulated kaiju, unless they need to be that tall. But Godzilla, no, I don't want my Godzilla that I paid $65 for to be that short, obviously. But at the same time, I don't... What is this? What is all this this space right here? Oh, sorry. What's all this space right here? That's not, that's not cool. I want him to fit in with my other stuff. I mean... I guess you can say he looks fine with Fire Rodan, since Fire Rodan here is a smaller monster, and you can just kind of, you know, use your imagination a little more. But with these monsters, the bigger ones, <sighs> you know, it's not as, not as agreeable, I suppose. Now, here he is with a figure from another franchise. It is the Banjai Japan Dinosaur from Ultraman Mebius. Great series, by the way. Highly recommended. And, uh... Yeah, I don't feel that the scaling is correct. I mean, it's obviously not correct because of the height of Ultraman and I and then of course uh, got all the Showa specifics and 
this big guy here and he's really undersized anyways but he's also undersized and it's all weird but i think it looks cool i think it'd make a cool battle but still i feel godzilla is undersized but i had to show you guys this you remember the uh bandai america bandai creations hedora figure remember how he doesn't scale up with anybody He's scaling up with this guy right now. Hedora was a tall monster. Hedora was a huge monster. Um, and I feel you can get it to work. I think he can work with this Godzilla right here. I think it looks pretty cool. So, that's really awesome. Now, I thought I'd show him with a standard vinyl Godzilla. Here he is with the uh, Godzilla from the Mega Gears pack that I got at G-Fest. And, wow, okay. <laughs> Not in scale. I don't feel it. I don't, I'm not feeling it. And then I want to show him with the Gamma figure and a Trin Masters. I thought I'd knock those both out at the same time with the Trin Masters Jiger or Trin Masters Monster X. But yeah, that doesn't work either. I mean, it, I think it looks cool. I think the sizing is cool, but it doesn't work. But there is a group of figures that are perfect for this Godzilla. And they are Sci Fi Revel Tex. That is right, the Revoltech Godzilla figures scale up great with this guy. Right here I have the Revoltech Baragon, got him for only 25 bucks, so that's pretty awesome. He's super articulated, he came with a lot of accessories, I mean, this is like a Monster Art before Monster Arts. Revoltech's a pretty cool company. I might get their Zetman and Rodan and some other stuff, so. But yeah, I mean, he scales up great with this Baragon, whether Baragon's on... His hind legs are all fours, and I've seen him in pictures with several other things. The Mazer Tank, I've seen him in pictures with the Gigan, the Rodan, the Anguirus. They all scale up great with the Monster of 64 Godzilla. Many people uh, have been calling it the Revoltech Godzilla we never had. And that makes sense to me. So if you have the Revoltech Godzilla figures... And you want a Godzilla that scales up well with them. Ta-da! Here he is. It's the Monster Arts Godzilla 64. He he scales up perfect with these Revel Techs. And I think that is what saves him. That is what saves this figure scale-wise. But still, I feel bad that it doesn't scale up well with my other Monster Arts. So what are my final thoughts on the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 64? Well, he's a pretty awesome figure. Great articulation, great detail, great paint. But beyond that, it's a little lacking. I mean, accessories? I don't want to have to get that super expensive accessories pack or buy a whole huge expensive Monster Art just to get a beam effect for this guy, you know? I mean, come on. I shouldn't have to do that. Godzilla should come with a beam effect. A more Showa-looking beam effect would have been awesome. I mean, this is the only Showa monster we have in the line so far. So, I mean, I'd really, I'd really like to see more Showa monsters now that I think about that. But, a beam effect. Just a beam effect. That's all we needed. That's it. And the sizing? He's too small for your other monster arts. What's up with that? I mean, I'm not really bothered by the standard vinyls and stuff. Sometimes their sizing can be a little iffy. But the monster arts so far have been scaling up really well together. And then this guy comes in. And I know the Showa sizing and the Heisei sizings are different. But if he would have been the same size as the Heisei guys, that would have been fine. Fortunately for him, Revoltech exists. And, you know... I doubt this, like, very much. This probably didn't happen. In fact, I'm pretty sure it didn't, but it would be great if this is the reason. They made him this big for the Revoltex. Wouldn't that be just... That's just a beautiful thing to think about, you know? Probably not the reason, but a beautiful thing to think about. Because, I mean, the Revoltex are Showa. They're Showa. Showa Mothra, which would be great with him, because that's who he fought. 
show a Baragon, show a Rodan, show a Anguirus, show a Gigan. Did I say Gigan yet? I don't know. But yeah. Showa. He'll go great with them. All things considered, piecing together, giving him a little slack on sizing. I think I'm going to give this guy 4 out of 5 stars. I mean, I've given Monster Arts 5 out of 5. I gave Junior 5 out of 5. Uh, I remember. But this guy, not quite 5 out of 5. He's not, he's not perfect. He's not the best figure I've ever seen. Not the best Monster Art I've ever seen. He's cool. I dig him. I'm glad he's in my collection. He's going to be here for a long time. But he is not perfect. He doesn't scale perfectly, and he has no accessories. None. But, uh, yeah, that's it, you guys. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you want to talk more about the figure, hit me up in the comments below. Or PM me, I don't know. Comments would be preferable for me, because that boosts my stats, but whatever. PM is fine, if you don't want to deal with Google Plus commenting and stuff. But yeah, please be sure to check out my other channels. Check out the P3 Productions channel, which will be the first link in the description below. And the best link in the description below. That's where all my cool stuff is now. Lots of comedy. My action figure hauls are there. My comic book hauls are there. I do action figure unboxings. I do unboxing videos and stuff now. Like comic book hauls, DVD Blu-ray hauls, posters. I got lots of cool stuff on there. Vlogs. All kinds of cool stuff. Please check out that channel. That's the one I want to get partner on. So. Yeah, and I don't want to sound like a biggie subscriber, but. You know, I just. I've been offered several partnerships on this channel, and I can't take them on this channel. I just. I need them on another channel. I really like that because I'm a film major, and it helped my career. Please. So. But yeah, you guys watching this is really enough, though. Personally, it's enough. So thank you so much for watching this. Four out of five stars. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all later.